Hey everybody, it's your hospitality friend Glenn here with continuing coverage from the Lodging Conference 2024. I want to thank my sponsors Unifocus, streamline your operations, Unifocus, Unifocus.com. Check them out, they got great labor tools. Speaking about great things, Joseph Bojanowski, PM Hotel Group is here with me. But before we get started, thanks for having me at your event this year. I really Absolutely, it. it was a great event. Thank yeah. you for the presentation. Uh, the team was motivated. It's an exciting presentation. That's so, awesome. and a lot of life in that presentation. Really, I appreciate it. It means yeah. a lot to me. But I want to talk about what you're passionate about today. And one of the things we've been talking about is, you know, exciting and delighting guests for the goal of increasing that operating income. Because I know you, like other hoteliers out there, you're getting squeezed in the middle with those margins, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And as an operator for hotels and PM Hotel Group is a management company. Um, our primary objective is to deliver the bottom line to our owners. And there is significant pressure continuing on right. the margins, right? GOP margin, EBITDA margins, and labor is getting more expensive by the day, and and, it's, yeah. uh, and, and rep par is declining um, pretty quickly to below 2%. So the only way you can make more money is figure out how to uh, make more money per available customer or figure out how to lower your expenses. And I know you're thinking about ways in order to leverage technology to ease some of the burdens of your staff to free them up so they could do other things, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, we're looking at everywhere there where there is a transaction or where there is a repetitive task to move transactions into software and to move where available, uh, repetitive tasks into robotics, so things vacuuming right. and things like that. All that designed to free up our associates of, we, of which we have many fewer than we had in the past, right. um, to deliver on the guest experience. Deliver, the guest experience will always result in repeat customers. Repeat customers result in lower cost to customer acquisition, yep. easing the pressure on that bottom line. Uh, easier yeah. said than done, but that is uh, that is exactly done. what you yeah, have yeah, to do. Yeah. All right, so I was speaking to a CEO of another major management company that said their workforce is down 10% because people just aren't taking those jobs. He's thinking about utilizing technology in order to be able to, you know, close that gap over there. My guess is you're feeling the same thing. So you have two things going on. One is people aren't necessarily coming into the business. So you have fewer people that could create that personal interaction with guests. And then you have them dealing with those tasks that keep them away from right. dealing with personal guests. So yep. the virtuous circle idea is to try to figure out ways to get them in front of the guests, create that memorable experience so they come back more in time and time again. Absolutely. Right? And so, but if you just pulling back for a moment, if you look at labor as a whole, so the cost of labor is up in 30 percentage from yep. over 2019. This year alone, labor per available room is up. 11.2% this year, this year, August year to date. Wow. So for the U S as a whole. So even if you wanted more associates, um, all right, you can't afford to hire yeah. them any longer. Right. So it, it, it's an issue there. So we're relentlessly focused on, uh, training our associates, making sure they have access to the tools they need to be able to service the guests and empowering them to make decisions, creating efficiency while still delivering on a memorable guest experience. And we launched a major learning platform last year that has um, everything they could possibly want to know from an SOP to online learnings around guest satisfaction issues, uh, how to service guests and all those kind of things. Knowing that we were going to be in a situation where we had fewer um, tenured associates. So the old school way of doing right. the money system wasn't going to work anymore. So how we're going to do it. Part of that was launching a learning platform as well. So uh, no, no disrespect against us, but we're a little bit older at that yeah, point, yeah. right? So we're a little bit more separated from the technological zeitgeist that, 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 that the younger folks are using. So how do you keep yourself in shape to know what technologies are going to connect with younger workers to make them more productive? Well, first thing is um, to understand what type of platforms uh, that they want to most use, right? And so example would be TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. So our learnings are in TikTok style videos, right? They're anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple of minutes, quick hits, quick learnings, uh, secondary. Well, I'm curious on that is how, how do they show you how to make beds while dancing? <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun if you do it. It's a, it's a little less boring, so they have more fun and you get more, and then it moves things along quickly. Uh, the, the other thing too is, um, just the use of technology, whether we're pushing things through mobile apps, right? Everybody wants to be on their phone, particularly um, our younger associates, and they want to be on the phone, and that's where yep. they want. You got to meet them where they are, 
um, online, TikTok, through the phone is where they want to be. That makes a lot of sense. And when you do that, because it'll connect better with them, they're more likely to get engaged in the whole process and of employment and probably stay with you longer than you offer them paths of success to move upwards. Exactly. It's more intuitive also, so they're more likely to adopt it and use it yep. uh, if you deliver it on their technology platforms. And yes, and uh, there's a learning and development component of that as well. This is a great industry. There are so many of us in this industry who have started at a front desk or yep. in housekeeping or some other place and have risen to the top. Amazing opportunities here for everyone, and we want to highlight that as well. What was your first job? My first job was in uh, food and beverage marketing. Yeah. Um, and after a couple of years of being in, in marketing, uh, I decided I should probably go into a hotel and learn how to actually do what I was talking about right. and what I was promoting. So um, that's what I did. And then eventually worked my way through it. Awesome. The last question yep. for you. Obviously, you're here at the Logic Conference. It's sold out. 2,900 people. What do you uh, What do you think of what's going on over here this week? Yeah, amazing energy here. I think, you know, it's interesting. And we had a concern going into this year that uh, potentially there would be a pause button hit in June or July as the election started to come into focus. It does feel like that's what happened. So it's great to see everyone here but uh, general conversations are it's just positioning for next year, post-election, getting an understanding of what the dynamics and policies are of whoever is elected. And then we go forward quickly into 2025 with some momentum and it should be a great year. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, 2025. It's going to be here before we know it, folks. So get prepared. So for Joseph and myself, Flint, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Text the word hotel to 66866. See you later. Bye. See you later. Thanks.